Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Now, the most suitable features on this TRD Off-Road is its multi-terrain select and crawl control. You also have your heated front seats and your light bar. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD Off-Road is its daytime running lights as well as its fog lamps. And taking a closer look just at the front grille, as you can see you have that light bar going right across. You also have your plug-in block heater on your driver's side and over on the driver's side here you will find your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels along with your running boards. Integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors and foldable mirrors. Up top you'll see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your power driver's seat with lumbar support with your black uh, leather interior seat surfaces. Mirror controls as well as your window wiper de-icer and your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. Now, on the inside of your driver's side door, you'll find your window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, mode, select, volume, control, Bluetooth, voice recognition, display, and cruise control. Now, closing in on the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So, if we actually scroll through, You'll be able to see your average fuel, uh, fuel economy, sorry, cruising range, elapsed time, as well as your speedometer, and then you have a digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge on there as well. If we take a look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features which include your digital clock, hazard lights. Inside your apps menu, you'll see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the navigation system, it has a night and daytime mode, so depending on what time of day you're driving. If you're driving in the daytime, as you can see, it'll actually change up there. If you're driving at night, it'll make things a little bit easier for you just when you're driving just so you can see where you're going. Now you do have the temperature controls on here with your XM satellite radio, USB and auxiliary input, 4x4 select, mounted to an automatic transmission with your TRD style shift knob, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger and your open and close for your power rear window and taking a look at the top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll find up top here include the integrated garage door open controls as well as the open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your traction control, a track and rear differential lock. Now you do have the multi-terrain select and crawl control feature. Now the nice thing with the multi-terrain select feature is you can actually adjust for the terrain you're going over, while with the crawl control feature, depending on what terrain you're going over, you can actually adjust the speed for yourself. So for instance, if you're up in the mountains and you're going across some loose shale, uh, you can actually set the speed for yourself to make things a little bit easier for you instead of um, you hitting the accelerator and then it uh, slipping uh, over and over again. At least with this, you can set the speed for yourself and then just uh, go across uh, quite smoothly. Now, I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you're backing into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on the back of your tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have a rear foldable seat which makes things a little bit easier for you especially if you need more cargo room. Over on the right hand side you'll see that rear cargo power outlet so if you're ever out of the cabin or the lake during the weekend you need to plug in your tools you can do so or if you'd like plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. On your left, right, front and back side you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your cargo area just while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. 
Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.